Welcome back to more Monster Harvest, everybody. So in the last episode, we made it here to this dungeon. And we're basically going to, uh... We're just gonna sneak past this. Little... Oh my god, it's after me. Run, 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 run. Okay. Oh, what's up here? Ooh, we found a very nice room. There's no enemies. A bunch of gold ore opportunities here. And some crystals and stuff. Oh, wait, we're actually out of stamina. What am I doing? Well, I got one. That's what, That was important, yeah. So... <clears throat> wait, what? Oh, okay, it's on me. Yeah, I guess, I guess it's time to do some battling, you know? Uh, we'll go ahead and do, uh, we'll do this rally thing here, sure. And this, uh, this Glowfin is really putting in some work, seriously. I mean, I'm doing a lot of damage. I mean, look at this. That's another enemy down. Man, this Glowfin is crazy. Alright, am I gonna level up? I did not. Damn it! <clears throat> okay. Uh, we're just gonna have to keep going and exploring around here and see what we find. Hmm, yeah. We'll go like this. We'll go down. Oh my god, another one. Okay, you got the first hit that time, unfortunately. We're gonna do Rally here. Yeah, it's very important to get the first strike, because with that you're essentially gonna be taking one less attack every battle, which really improves your survivability rate, you know? The hell? Well, there we go. <clears throat> Man, what that we get a level up? Yes, we do. Level six now. Level six. And so with that, um, now it actually, yeah. So it gets a full heal. Yeah, they always gain a full heal after every level, which is nice. I just fucks. I don't have any stamina left here. Okay. How much does a? Uh, I'll, st I'll still do rally. It's fine. Minus six. Do slash twenty-two. Why am I doing the same damage? Didn't I just level up? What the hell? Do you even do more damage in this game when you level up? I actually have no idea, but as you can see, I'm getting a lot less experience now. I need to be going to the big leagues now. So I gotta find a way. Okay, I'll fight. Oh no, I didn't hit. I didn't attack. Shoot. That's not good. Let's do rally. Oh no. We are in trouble here. Slash. Well, shoot. Slash again. There we go. That was a... Okay. That was a... Yep, that's a lot of experience. Well, not really a whole bunch, but... It's good enough. Okay, we'll take this. We got a bunch of items. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that beauty right there. Okay, let's go ahead and go on to the next section. I'm just going on to the next section. I don't really care, to be honest. Um... Because I think it's going to be important <clears throat> to try and level up this, if I even can, this Glofinin, you know, um, planimal. We'll see. Still no creatures in here, no no additional enemies. Who the hell are you? Oh my god, we got a random merchant in here. Mutato Radish Hybrid Seed, a hybrid crop that cannot be slimed. Grows in the dry season and takes six days to mature. What? Should I just should I buy one of each of these? It says it can't be slimed, so they're really only there for selling. Uh, let's try these. Sure. Crap. 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 Okay. Uh, we need to look at our inventory here. Damn it! I need another backpack upgrade. I have to get rid of stuff that I don't really need, like these flowers, I guess. These are so easy, you know? Uh, we need to go... How do, I, how do I go over there? Right there. We gotta trash it. We'll also trash this one because, you know... Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, let's buy... That one, and that one. I can't believe we found some random merchant in here that sells these hybrid seeds or whatever. That's that's crazy. Hmm. I'm finding like no enemies. That's the first enemy I've seen here. Alright, let's see how much more. What? Oh, I had the wrong freaking tool, I think. Shoot, I'm dead. I'm actually totally dead. That's not good, man. How much damage are you gonna do? Oh, you use focus, whatever that is. Uh, slash. Come on, I'll have to just survive one hit. No! 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 You freaking piece of garbage, man. Okay, you're dying for that. You're so dying for... 
because of that. It's fine, at least I got like six hearts, it said. So we're good, we're good here. How much experience do I get? 130. That is actually really good. And then, oh my god, I think I want that, because these items are actually good to have. I, I need to throw away the stuff that I, I already have um too many copies of. We're taking that. Wait, where'd he go? Are you serious? Wait, no, no, we got it, we got it, never mind. Whoa, what happened to my... Okay, we did get it, we got it. I think we already had a glow shroom, though. Alright, well, that's, uh... That's it for here. I guess I'll just, uh... Don't go in the water. Oh my god. I almost got into the water right there. So we actually have to go up. Okay, again, don't touch the water. Make sure not to do it. There are like no enemies here. Actually, there's an enemy over there. Let me check up here. What the heck? Yeah, like I want to see how um <clears throat> easier hard these are going to be. Like that's a level six right there. We gotta do claw. Eleven damage. Oh my god. What? Did he just miss, like, I don't know what the hell happened. There we go, level up. Yes. We got a level up. Crap, I don't really think I need the seeds, so but I think it's fine, actually. Uh, that's it for here. We'll fight this thing, too. Sure. You struck first. That is a really loud sound. I don't know why it does a super loud sound every time I only fight this creature. Get it. There we go. You win, and we get another level up. That's amazing. We're getting so much uh, nice and juicy experience over here. I haven't fought those guys yet. Let me actually go to the left. It's because I'm also out of uh, inventory space over here. Like, my god. Okay, I fought plenty of these before. I guess I can fight another one. <clears throat> sure, you can take on another one, right? Should be able to. Actually, I leveled up. That's right, so I can totally do it. And it's dead. See, now we're making some good progress here in this dungeon. In the past couple episodes, we were having some significant problems, for sure. There's a chest. There's a chest. You know what sucks about this? It's going to be something super valuable. And there's not going to be a damn thing I can do about it. Alright, I'm dead. Shoot! That's okay. It's dead. Do I get to level up? Yes. Okay. Um. So yeah, what would I actually get rid of here? I mean, oh, there's these. Sure, I didn't, I didn't even see those. Here. Trash that. Alright, here we go. What? What was that? Oh, you, could, you, could, you gotta be kidding me. Seriously? Hurry up. I don't know if they despawn. Dude. Okay, I got them. Is that a new type of seed? Brainkin seed. Is that new? No, I think we've already seen that one before. Well, anyway, this is actually the end of level 2, because if I go this way, this will take me over to level 3, and the enemies are obviously way too difficult for, for this section now. Like, there's no way I can actually get through this, right? Level 3? I mean, really? But there probably are going to be like some really good good stuff in here, but... It's still nice that I'm showing all this though, even though I can't do much in this area. Like, what is... That looks like a new thing. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, well... Should I, should I try it? How many, um, how many... I have two. I can try to try and level up a soil, right? Oh, I had, damn it, I'm dead. I'm totally dead. Level 9? 
Oh god, I'm totally dead. Like, there's no way, right? There's no way. Actually, I think I'm doing a pretty decent job here. I can take one more hit. What the hell? We killed his eyeball. Level 5? Oh my god, Mitanko, you are going crazy. We actually are doing this somehow. I don't even know how we're doing it, but we are. Okay, we gotta go around. Guess we'll go down, sure. And we'll go down again. And we'll go down again. Oh my god, there's another chest in there. Enemy struck first. Oh god, I'm probably dead. Let's see. Let's see how I do. These enemies have significantly less health in mind, though. Like, I have noticed that, actually. Pretty consistently. Shit, I'm dead. That's okay. You can do it. There we go. Up to level 4. Another treasure. This is just getting crazy now. Um, what do we throw away? I guess these. I'm just really... Man. Okay, I got those. And that's about all I can do with that. We'll just keep going. Oh wait, we already made it over here. What the hell? We're going into level 4 now. This is insane. How many levels are there here? I actually have no clue. Go, go, go. Wait, I want to explore a little bit more. Oh, I didn't have the sword equipped again. Forgot about that. I'm probably dead here. I'm probably dead. Level 14. Look at these levels. Okay, I'm totally dead in this battle. Totally dead. That's okay, because I made a lot of progress and I'm getting a lot of hearts back. In fact, I can probably get two whole soil level ups, which would be a great thing. Like, fantastic. Okay, so we definitely have a lot of, uh... Oh, shoot. Not that way. We got a lot of work to do back in our farm. Uh, yeah, even though we can't do much today in terms of all that planting and stuff, so we'll leave that for tomorrow, I guess. But there are probably some stuff I want to ship. Mainly... Those things, I guess. Everything else I can keep. In fact, I want to do it now, so we're going to put that, that, uh, more red crystals, sure. Oh wait, the glow shrooms too, I guess I can sell those. More uh, titanium, green crystal, and the rest is just seeds, the gold, and then the glow shroom. I'll go ahead and sell that. Might give me some money. Yeah, so we got some significant things to do today, for sure. Let's go ahead and rest up so we can actually get our stamina here. We got a lot of planting to do. We should probably get some red slimes after we upgrade our soil, of course, um, to see. Let's see how many times we can actually upgrade this. Oh, wow, and we're actually, wait, what the hell? We're only one away from the next level. Damn, that sucks. Okay, so we're gonna put that right there, that right there, and then we gotta put all these here. Actually, can you just press X? No, you can't. You can't just do an automatic transfer by pressing X between this. Alright, so this is the one that also only has one, I think. And then we can just plant the rest over here somewhere. So we'll do like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we'll do. Let me want to upgrade the watering can, I just realized, as well. You know what? Let's do that first. So I can also see, you know? So we do have our, um, you know, gold ore. <clears throat> just that. We're going to upgrade our pickaxe and the watering can, I think. We'll take that. I should actually explore a lot on the way back, but... I'll do it in a bit. Yeah, 
All right, so we're going. Right here, um, this thing. Uh, to take less stamina to be you. Wait, what? I see. So it takes less stamina. This will actually be good to have. Oh, see, there is Mystic. You need Mystic Ore. Whoa. Okay, we're gonna upgrade this, I think, into Golden. Uh, let's see. Can to hold more water and take less stamina to do that? Got it, got it. Okay. So, sure. And now we have the Mystics unlocked for both of those. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's two upgrades right there. Let's go ahead and just run back down now. Holding more water and takes less stamina. The pickaxe taking less stamina is also really good because with that we can actually, um, you know, spend a lot more time in the dungeon for sure, which is very convenient. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and plant all these here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And over here we gotta do one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we should actually do a few more here. There we go. Alright. Yeah, so it still only does one square. There's no way to actually do more than one square at a time, it seems. Which is unfortunate, but I guess that's just a thing in this game, you know? Okay. Water everything. Oh, I missed one there. Oh my god, how many spots does it? It's a lot. What? What the hell is going on? It wasn't working there. Kinda weird. Oh, right again. But it is actually a lot better. Okay, and that's it. We're gonna fill it up yet again. And we are done with that. So, next up is... I mean, I guess... I can't really make it night. Um, and, you know, go exploring over there at night. Who cares? Because that's not actually gonna help us out. We do need uh, at least one planet with us, so I think that'll be ready for tomorrow, actually, which would be good to have. We didn't really uh, like. We still have over two thousand money. That's the beauty of all this. We've been profiting a lot, and the more we just forge every day, the better, you know. Let's see if we can find stuff over here. Nothing there. Let's go behind the town. I'm also curious to see if I should actually spend money on those new places, but maybe not, because there's better things like the backpack upgrades. I still can't believe we haven't done this yet. Oh wait, have we? Oh wait. We've done this one. Wait. Congratulations, we collected all the- oh nice, what would I get? All hoes have been upgraded to use less stamina. Oh. That's cool. I just totally missed that one, wow. And then we also have the enemy collection one. So the game doesn't actually alert you, I realized. Um, okay, let's see. I'll pick cactus. Oh yeah, we need that, yes. Okay. Still no fish at all, and no wet crop, dark crop. Uh, wild food, we st we're still missing three, and we're still missing a lot of flowers. Okay. That's cool, though. So they're just little passive skills, I guess, that you have, and... Yeah, that works out really well. You can actually see the plus right there. The plus in the bottom right corner of the hoe and the pickaxe. It means that it has that passive buff. So the pickaxe is now a... It now has two upgrades, basically.
Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, so one thing that I also realize is that I'm not coming into the left side and I should be because sometimes things actually do grow here. Uh, in this little area. You know, and like there was a flower right there. Are y'all new here? I'll talk to you, right? I'll definitely talk to you. What am I talking about? Um, let's see. I don't really see anything else in here. Let's go beyond the bridge. I don't think there was anything down there either. Oh. Splime. Another one. Awesome, I'll take that. Seems like we've seen every single thing possible in the dry season. We haven't forged new things in several days now, and I think that we're done with the dry season. Yeah, it's, it does seem like it. Alright, well... I guess we just gotta go all the way back now. Oh, I, I missed a mushroom over there. Shoot. How did I not get that? Oh, because I didn't actually go under the bridge right there yet. Things do grow there pretty often. You should be checking there all the time. There we go. Yeah, also be careful about using this roll thing when you're in narrow passageways because if your character ever touches a wall, the roll stops. See that? That happens to me sometimes in narrow passageways. You may notice that I do the roll animation but I don't move. It's because uh, he's grazing the wall, I guess you can say. Okay. Almost there. It's a really long trip back. I think we should just keep using the rest of our stamina to clear out our farm for now. So we're going to go into... I guess we'll use the axe. Yeah. Want to clear out all the soil area, you know? There's lots of trees. And now we're somewhat close to another level up. Kind of. I'm sure we'll get that tomorrow, actually. And that's it. We can make it into the evening, though, to get a little bit of stamina back. This one. That's it for all the trees on this side. Just enough stamina too, wow. Pretty much. Yeah, we'll take care of the rest, I guess, tomorrow. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll spend a good amount with the watering can for sure. It's gonna be a lot of stuff to do. Alright, so we didn't, oh, we didn't ship the stuff. Whoops, forgot about that. It's fine. It doesn't really matter too much. We'll ship it now. We'll do that, 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 that. Pretty much all that over here we can actually put the wood. And then we all, we do want to put the gold right there. We do have some slimes here. I'll just take these, see what I do with them. Um, so these things are not actually ready yet. I thought they would be. They're not. Alright, this does take a while, but... 
We're getting it. God damn it. You gotta stand in very specific areas, I've noticed. In weird corners, the game doesn't register that you want to fill it up. That is a lot of watering, even with one upgrade. Oh my god. Okay. That's done. Now we can use the rest of our stamina, I guess, because we still can't go back in the dungeon. We don't have a single planimal, so we're just kind of just waiting until, you know, these things are ready. So in the meantime, all we can really do here is just spend our stamina for the day. You know, might as well try to level up again. So the whole right side is done with at least the soil part. That's my priority for the most part. Because it seems like the trees don't regrow in this area. So I'd rather clear them out now in case I need the extra space for later. Not that I ever think I'm going to have this many crops. Especially because it doesn't seem like in this game you can improve the watering can's, uh, like, radius thing, if that makes sense. Like, I, I don't know. Like, how many squares you can water. So, like, you can't really water faster in this game. At least... That's the impression I'm getting so far, because watering can upgrades are giving it more storage and less stamina usage, but not more spaces at the same time, which is a big difference. Whoops. Okay, well, again, to level up after this tree? I don't know. Nope, still another one that I gotta chop. Okay, well... Um, I don't think I have enough stamina for any of this, though. Crap. Hmm. Well... We do still have to go out here and, you know, forage for some more stuff to see if we can find something. Like that. And some flowers. Luckily, foraging in this game doesn't take any stamina, nor does sword fighting, which I thought I, I thought that was actually kind of weird, but I'll take it. But yeah, we made a we made a good progress in the beginning of this video with uh, her planimal levels and stuff like that. Pretty good, and now the second part has just been mostly, you know, crops, catching up with them for sure. So that's really good. It's also nice that we got a couple of gold upgrades. Uh, we do have to go back into the dungeon so we can get more gold upgrades. That'd be really nice if we can. We just need at least one planimal to enter the dungeon though, but we um, haven't gotten one since. Uh, okay, that's it for that over there. Anything here? Not really seeing anything. There's that. Okay. I'll take that. More red slime and more red slime. What? No, 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 not that. I didn't tell you to do that. That's a lot of red slime. We killed three right there. Mm, was there anything over here? I'm not seeing anything once again. Yeah, not really. Um, oh, another one. Wow, that is that is so many slimes in one day. Oh, here's this. We'll take that. And more flowers. Okay, I believe we're done. Pretty good day. And that's pretty much going to be... Well, actually, we can still do a little bit for the next day, I guess. I was going to say that's it, but maybe it doesn't have to be. 
I guess it's nice that right now I'm currently only playing one Switch game at a time. Uh, I'm playing Dirge of Cerberus and Yu-Gi-Oh, both of which are PS2 games. So, the nice thing about playing only one Switch game at a time is that, like on YouTube I mean, is that I don't necessarily have to end my episodes in, during a game save point, meaning in this game when I actually sleep. Well, I did not pick that up, I guess it was camouflage. So, like if I was playing, like, let's say, another game like Atari of Fables at the same time, it'd be awkward because if I wanted to then record a Atari of Fables video, I can't do that without actually properly saving this game first. But if I'm only playing this as the only Switch game, I can actually just, you know, press this thing right here and then that's it. You know, um, and I just put it to sleep and then I can play this again tomorrow, you know, which is much more convenient. I actually don't know of any other Switch games I'm going to be playing anytime soon. I may end up covering the game Kiwi. I don't know if a lot of you know what that game is. Um, it came out literally yesterday. If this video is going up on September 1st. Um, so I may end up doing that. I'm not sure. Um, okay, so we got some of these. We can actually see. Uh, we'll do that and then take it. Awesome. Oh wait, that one's not ready. Whoops. I don't want to take another one though. I mean, it's fine. We're at what, 2550? Okay. Yeah, I don't want to take another one of the same one. I may just I'm going to the dungeon today. And if the planable dies, that's fine. I can then just take another one of that one today too. Ran out of water again, it seems. So this does mean that um, I'm not going to be spending any of my other stamina aside from the watering today because I should actually keep it for the dungeon. I think that'll be the smartest thing to do because I do have to go back into the dungeon. If you want to get as many gold tool upgrades as possible, it'll be very important to do that. Okay, I think I got them all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Alright. Uh, so we're just going to run through. Oh, and actually, we got to make it night. That's right. That'll also give us a little bit more stamina. Okay. Here's some stuff. We definitely have to, uh, what the hell? You gotta learn how to- Oh, wait. Does foraging stuff give you- I didn't even know that. Let's see. I guess it does. A very small amount. Yeah, I didn't actually know that. That it gives you, like, a really, really tiny amount. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh my god, so many slimes again. Oh no, I really should clear my inventory though because I might run into the same problem again. I'm not sure. I don't want to risk it, so I'm going back. Okay, we're gonna ship that plus that plus that. Okay, even though we might still find stuff on the way. Who knows? We're going to put the red slime away and the green slime. There we go. That'll clear up a fair amount of space. So I think all I'm going to do in this video is check out the remainder of just the outdoors, you know, for four more foraging and slimes. And then I'll enter the dungeon and probably end the video there. So next time we'll explore the dungeon again. Get some more, you know, nice items and stuff, which will be great. So yeah, then we'll see. We will see. Okay, let's start by checking out the left side really quick. We just gotta make a full sweep in this place and then we'll be done. Hmm. 
Okay, there's not really anything here. Okay, cool. I saw an item up there, but I'll get that on the way back. Ooh. What are you doing over here? All alone at night. Oh, I saw an item. Mushroom. And that one. And a slime. Yep, look at our inventory clogging up already. <laughs> Again. Oh, great. Let me just take one full little look here. And what was that? Oh, I thought that was something else. Never mind. Hmm. I think we're just about done here. Yeah. Alright, let's go inside the dungeon. And uh, next time we will definitely explore it. And see what we can... Uh, what we can do in there. Enter. Alright. So before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.